Yeah, <laughs> I'm back YouTube. Let's not get it twisted, everybody. Yeah, I am the Angel Jibrell. You know what I'm saying? If you didn't know it, now you know. You don't want to believe it, just keep it moving, okay? Because like you said, it don't make no difference to me. I'm going to do what I got to do regardless. To all this baby mama drama that, that's coming up, you know, everybody had a chance to be with me and didn't want to endure the the hardship that I had to go through. Um, it's like the heavens put me through pain and trauma and it just it just gave me character. You know, you call it trials, trials and tribulation. I call it a trail of horror. You know, uh, analyzing what was going on throughout the global world. I do have the answers. I'm the Mr. Fixer Man. They call me the Book Man. Uh, I have made people millions of dollars. Some is going on to billions of dollars. I've helped countries. Uh, I've done a lot of, with my life, but my life is still a simple one. Uh, I didn't come to actually make money, but if it's, if it's going to take money to help the situation, I mean, that's just part of it. But that is not my first job. My first job is to uh, uplift the system that I was in, and that was America. And at the time, a lot of politicians, they had left their position. They had not taken serious their oath. Uh, they was dipping and dabbing and stealing. And um, the whole, I want to give a congratulation to the whole Ministry of Music because they actually jump-started the, jump the economy with hip-hop. The B-Boys uh, give it to... Uh, what they call Africa Bombarda, give a shout out to uh, Russell Simmons, uh, give a shout out to uh, KRS, you know, and the guys to that, uh, Snoop Dogg, uh, Ice T, Ice Cube, uh, and all the other people from the East Coast and uh, Cash Money. Uh, a lot of y'all, like I said, that wasn't my expertise, so, but I know that uh, it's another guy. We had a son down there. Uh, ooh, try to get your name out really quick. Um, P, 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 P something. P something. Not P Diddy. You came out after Biggie. Give a shout out to Biggie and his family. Because y'all are great, great, great men who uh, carried the world, actually, and put the world in, a, in motion. We want to take that motion and we want to put the motion through paths so we can all do what we need to do. But I'm trying to think of this other guy. I mean, that cash money. Could be. I know he made movies. He did, he did really good. So all y'all kept motivating, kept making things happening and adding on to the crooked foundation of America. And that's why we need to be changed and we need to go to these laws. Because the, crown, the foundation was crooked, we had to actually make a, another new foundation. Now we're coming up strong, doing a lot of good things, you know. Give a shout out to my boy Tyson uh, and the guy Sugar Fighting, Sugar Ray Robinson, I think his name is, yeah, and um, Muhammad Ali. Uh, a lot of basketball stars I really don't know, uh, but I do know one was was a tall guy, and <laughs> this is the cavity fall. <laughs> it was a tall, Muhammad something, Muhammad something on the basketball court, right? Lou Alcindor, right? Uh, Jordan, I better not say his name. And the other guy that had to get out because they found out that he had, uh, he had AIDS, uh, I don't even know his name. Magic, magic something. You know. Well, you know, I was into into other area, other areas. You know what I'm saying? And um, I just want to give a shout out to who is this? This this guy, this guy, Omar Lawrence. This guy. I mean, this guy. When I seen this guy come out the TV, this was some crazy stuff. I mean, I just got to Earth, you know, and I'm looking. Matter of fact, when I got here, I asked my brother, I said, yo, he was watching, I think, American Bandstand, and they say Dick Clock. And I said, yo, are they saying Dick? He was like, yeah. 
what's, what's wrong with you? I was like, hey man, it's like, there's a lot going on. And that was in actually uh, 901. Yeah, we call it 901. And uh, it was in Rockaway. Yeah, Rockaway. Well, Rockaway, and I was brought out to Rockaway after. Actually, it was in Brooklyn and I, I really came back. And it was Rockaway Avenue on Brooklyn and Fulton Street. And then from there, uh, they had to ship me out to Rockaway, you know, Rockaway Island or Rockaway. And uh, I forgot the name, Ocean Village in Rockaway. And um, <laughs> it was just so many things that was happening at the time. And, you know, it's like people was waiting in secret organizations and societies. And, and it was like, well, what did I come to do? You know, I was questioned by those of authority. I was locked up, put in jail. I mean, I was, I went through a lot. I've been through the, the whole mental thing. You know, I've been given overdose of medication. They, they vegetatized me. I couldn't talk for three years and basically it stretched it to like six years. So I've been through some things that I really wouldn't want everybody to go through what I went through. But you know, people are gonna do it. <laughs> people are gonna try to do what they gotta do regardless. That's what they gotta know. But I was actually taken from my family um, every child that I had, I did have intentions to be with the mama. And um, the mama had intentions to do what they wanted to do, which was, you know, they changed. You know, women, w what you need to do is need to get back to the Sabbath and need to pray and um, hold on to your man and, and go through the trials and tribulations, especially if you have a child. And learned and experienced Expand your mind. We always given a a bad hand, a you know a stacked deck, uh, you know crooked dice, uh, bad rules to the game. But we endured that. You know our parents did a wonderful job, and um, even in the midst of arguing, and they they didn't know a lot of things that we can learn today. So. You know, I started off uh, with the, with the Angels series, so you can see that. Um, yes, I do have a lot of information for you, and uh, I've been through a lot, and um, everything that I did while away from those that I do love, it was for a reason. And if those who uh, continue to to go away from me, well, we we're gonna get you as far as make sure wherever you go you'll be safe because this is a global plan this is not just if you with me you safe you don't have to be around me because really i don't want a lot of people around me anyway so straight up i'm telling you who i am uh i'm telling you other people uh actually stole my writings used it and act like you know they was the ones uh i was trapped off by the media, trapped up by politicians, trapped up by religious people who were all in a plan of stopping me, you know, just like, uh, you know, they say they have uh, governmental, uh, uh, governmental, like, secrets, and they look for aliens. The reason why they look for aliens is because aliens have all liens to the planet. I don't know if you know about property and having, like an all lien means this is mine and that's it. So they look for who was coming, but they don't understand about the crown chakra and coming through where you wouldn't be able to see that we was here. But we're here and um, like we would have made contact with uh, those who can make a difference in their lives. And we do have a full team down now. And let's make it happen. But anyway, I want to give a shout out to Red Oak. Don't want to put you on the spot. But, um, and Webster Projects. And um, Manhattan, 152nd, Amsterdam. Uh, IS-8 in uh, Jamaica, Queens. Lyleton, Cambridge Heights. Ozone Park. And um, Staten Island, too. I'm out. One.